So the first thing we're gonna make is the choco flan. I have in my notebook everything that we need to make it. So the things that we're gonna need for the choco flan, we're gonna need half cup of white sugar, one box of chocolate cake, one can of leche evaporada, one lechera, one can of lechera, one whole pack of cream cheese, five eggs, one cap of vanilla extract. So either we can do it with the cupcake pan, so like everybody has a little cake, or we could do a actual like, I think people use this for like jalapenos, but we can use it as like a cake. So which one? This one or this one? This one? Okay. It's everything together, so you're gonna need one whole block of cream cheese, one can of leche evaporada, one can of lechera, a whole can, one cap of vanilla extract, one cap, not so much, and five eggs. Last one. Now we blend. Now I'm gonna do the cake mix. Half cup of vegetable oil, a cup of water, and three eggs. All that divine is still mixing. I'm gonna go ahead and melt the oh, sugar. Okay, right now it is melting. I think we're gonna have way more of the flan mix. So we might do this cake thing right here and also the cupcake one too. We're gonna go ahead and just pour this all around. And we're just gonna so now that we have the caramel, the melted sugar on there, we're going to add the flan mix to it. Just half of it. We're going to go ahead and add the, the chocolate cake to it. Um, the water separates it. You're going to do like a pan of water and you're going to put this on top of it. And it just separates both of them. We're gonna go ahead and set it for 350. I, I don't know how, but somehow I got the caramel, like the sugar, on me and it burned my skin. And I felt it somewhere over here tambien, but it got me really bad. So do it carefully with a parent, with an adult. I'm the adult, but clearly I, I burned. <laughs> Okay, now you're gonna get a bigger pan like this. You're gonna pour water in it. I'm gonna put more water in it, but what you're gonna do is put your flan in the middle of it. The water has to be half, half of the pan. Now we're gonna put it in the oven for one, oop, oop, one hour. We're gonna do cake number two. So now cake number two is the graham cracker cake. My aunt actually found this online. I don't know if it was on Pinterest or whatever it was, but ever since she made it, I've had it engraved in my mind. So you're gonna need one carton of 16 ounce frozen whipped topping, one cup of sour cream, one pack of 3.4 ounces of instant vanilla pudding mix, one can, eight ounces crushed pineapple, and then a box of graham crackers, banana, strawberry, strawberry, and chocolate syrup. So I'm very excited to make this. This cake is like the easiest thing ever. You can make it for any gathering. People will love it. It's so good. Um, so yeah, let's get started on that one. First, we're going to add the whole carton of whipped topping. One cup of sour cream. I think that's good. Then you're going to need... 3.4 ounces of this vanilla instant pudding mix. I forgot what it's called, but technically this is the whole 3.4. So you're gonna put this whole thing in there. You need eight ounces of crushed pineapple. They want eight ounces. I think that's like three big spoons. It's like a cup. So we're just gonna add the juice and then add whatever now we're just gonna mix all of that together. It looks really white on camera, but it's like yellow. It's in the it's yellow. Like the yellow is from the uh, vanilla mix, the vanilla pudding mix, and then a little bit of that pineapple. 
what we did is we got the can and we just squished the pineapple. We squished the pineapple and we got all the juice. And we're debating if we need to add more pineapple or not. Okay, so for this cake, you are going to use a whole box of the graham crackers. We got a family size, a big pan. So we're going to go ahead. So we did our first layer of graham cracker and now we're going to go ahead and go in with our mix. I'm just gonna put it on there. Either way, como sea, the cookies are gonna se van a inflar. Like they're gonna get soggy. I cut some strawberries and bananas. You can put honestly anything you want on it. Um, but that's what the recipe says. I have chocolate syrup. You can put it in between. I like to just put it on the top as decor. You know, to make it look pretty. Now you're gonna go ahead and put some fruit on there. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and add more cream on top. Just so the crackers can stay on there. Go ahead and add our second layer of graham cracker. Yeah, you're just gonna go ahead and repeat. And then I'm just gonna show you what it looks like at the end. <laughs> Cake two is done. Um, so I think we only did three layers of it and so we put this is the top the we did chocolate topping chocolate syrup on it Bananas strawberries and we crumble up some of the some graham crackers that we had left left over And it looks so good now. We're gonna put it in the fridge and it's gonna be in there for 24 hours Okay guys our choco flan. This is how it turned out. We're gonna try and flip it. We just took it out like What a minute ago? And it's hot, but it's because I want to get the caramel <clears throat> over it. So let's say. Okay, guys, so this is how our choco flan came out. It's really hot. I think that was the issue. Um, I think we just took it out really hot. We're going to let it cool it down. But I think so far, so good. Honestly, for my first time making this, I think we put a little bit too much cake. I think that's what it was. Well, that is it for all of our cakes. All of our cakes that we made for Thanksgiving. If you make any of them, let me know. Comment down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video, cool. which will be our Christmas tree. We're Christmas gonna vlog. Tree. We're gonna go get our Christmas tree soon. It's gonna be so exciting. Bye. Bye.